Hey guys, welcome to Bites and Booze this week. Um, so as you can see, we're somewhere a little bit different this week, uh, but that's okay because it's not going to stop us from making something awesome. So I don't know if you guys are like me, uh, but when I host somebody at my house, whether it be family or friends or whoever it might be, um, I usually like to try to get up in the morning and cook them a little something, uh, just to kind of get the day started on a good note. So today, I wanted to share with you a really easy early morning, kind of like breakfasty thing, uh, but it's really light and really simple, but it'll go over really well. Um, and all you need are eggs, Parmesan cheese, and red peppers. We're going to get started by taking our red pepper, and we're actually just going to, to cut it. Um, you're going to lay it on its side and cut it into slices. This knife needs to be sharpened, buddy. I'm house sitting, so maybe I'll do that for him while I'm here. Um, and when you do this, you're probably going to be cutting them maybe about half an inch or an inch thick. Um, you don't want to make them too wide, but you also don't want to make them too skinny. So that's actually probably a little bit wider than we want, but it's about an inch or so. Um, and the way that I cut it worked out really well. You're going to want to hollow it out in the middle. So you might have something that looks like this. You can just push out the middle, and then you're left with a perfect disc. And take your, um, your red pepper, and you're going to set it in the pan. And then what you can do is you're going to take an egg, and you're just going to crack the egg right into the middle of the pepper. Now you want to do this kind of slow because you want the egg to sort of like almost cook on the bottom to seal it. And then you just let it... I don't know what that was. <laughs> and I guess if you want, you could like kind of whisk up the egg before you put it on there. Um, that way it's more like a scrambled egg on the inside. Or not. Whatever. So then we're going to flip it over. Ooh, it might be a little bit difficult, but you can do it. And then once you flip it like that, ooh, you can see some of the stuff came out. That's okay. Then once you do that, you're going to take your Parmesan cheese <laughs> that I forgot to open. Um, so. Fresh Parmesan would be better than whatever's in this little can, or jar, or whatever you call it. But, if this is all you got, go for it. And you're just going to sprinkle some on top of it. And then what you'll do is you'll let that cook, and you'll flip it back over one more time. Woo! It's hot. And I'm going to let mine cook a little bit longer because I don't really like runny eggs. Um, so if you don't like runny eggs, just let them sit a little bit longer, obviously. Um, let them cook through. But before you know it, you're going to have the perfect little thing. You just take these and serve them out on the plate, and they're so cute. Um, but I guarantee no matter who it is that's getting these in the morning, it's going to make their day. Um, so I hope that you guys will use this. I hope you'll enjoy it. And I hope you'll come back next week for more Bites and Booze. Thanks for watching.